welcome back to the channel hey welcome back to part two okay let's do this makeup look that was inspired by this hair and also inspired by pink glam on instagram guys if you don't know part one of me stalling this beautiful wig and coloring it is also posted on my page so we're starting with brows i still do want to do an in-depth brow tutorial i know i've been saying that but i will be doing one okay don't get discouraged <laughs> i will be doing a in-depth new like updated brow tutorial but for now we're going to conceal our brows um we used tart and fancy mixed um and i used the darker mixture on the top lighter on the bottom i wanted that highlighted uh brow bone effect that i have come to love again this is from january my footage got deleted and now i'm re editing re-talking through all of that this entire video so that's why i broke it up into two parts it breaks my heart but honestly this video was too good to like not redo it was just it's still my favorite look to this day all the way ending on april so yeah of course starting with some eyeshadow base this is in the shade number three from p louise to prime the eyes and using my in the buff palette Starting with that middle to deepest shade of brown, packing that baby on in the shape that I wanted to create. Um, I was inspired by Pink Glam, but I decided to switch it up just a little bit. I love the rhinestone wing um, and the pop of liner, but I decided to match my hair with this. And that going along with these neutral shades was just everything. So what you want to do is take each brown that you're using as you get closer to your brow bone. You want to make sure that you use a fluffier brush as you go towards your brow and use lighter shades. So it just makes everything nice and blown out and blended perfectly. I did go back in with uh, the deepest brown shade and just brown like put that on there to make it a little bit deeper um before i started cutting my crease and i did use vaseline as a little outline i'm using my cut crease brush of course from beast by Dep cosmetics um to make a really really nice outline starting out and then i'm gonna take a clean q-tip and get rid of all that vaseline you want to make sure all the vaseline is gone this is really just to create a really nice clean surface with no eyeshadow and no eyeshadow base when you use the p louise um acid rain bases it's best to use it on clear skin is what the brand said so i'm going off of what they said okay and you better cut that too baby because we get every piece of product in this household you hear me we don't play with that you better use everything that you pay for baby don't don't waste nothing okay um i just threw this thing away literally last month i still was using it literally so we don't play that again i used a clean um cut crease brush from beast whatever cosmetics and i made that beautiful um wing cut crease shape and i didn't take the the wing cut crease like all the way out because i wanted it to be mainly just like a blown out brown type of thing and then i put my wing there and it just like went perfect you'll see what i mean soon um making sure that base is really really packed and blended because when i put um the white base uh, my white eyeshadow on top of this base it's gonna like you don't want it to look clumpy and any harsh lines or anything like that so i took this 173 brush from uh, morphe and i made sure everything was blended out and blown out before i started adding my eyeshadow on top um i added that white packed that on like crazy look at all that fallout that's because baby i be packing that white on because i want it to be stark white okay then i took um the third brown that i used the like third like i guess you could say uh darkest brown that i used and packed that on in the middle of the lid and then i went between the white and that deeper brown and i used some nude shades to make sure it was really blended because i didn't want to go from just white to brown you know what i mean so i use some like neutral shades from in the buff now i'm going in with some darker browns and this one's more red kind of toned and then i went in with a deeper brown and as you can see this is what i mean by just kind of winging that out into the other blend that i did before i cut my crease and it kind of made this like winged effect 
but it was kind of a soft wing thing it wasn't like a you know super defined just you know winged cut crease and i did that because when i add my rhinestones it's just gonna look super cool um i am using my famous <laughs> um eyeliners from beats better cosmetics they're water activated and my detailed eyeliner brush from beats better cosmetics and my everything glue okay because it adheres everything so you apply a little bit of this everything glue and you add your liners on top don't matter what liner but water-based eyeliners uh, are really really good water activated eyeliners are really good for cracking so just to make sure none of that happens i add a little bit of glue because i am mixing um the yellow and the greens and stuff like that sometimes the consistency is either more watery or thicker because i'm gonna have to keep mixing it and all that i just use the glue to make sure everything is really placed down nicely and this is where i'm coming in now with my eye uh with my rhinestones Oh, guys, pro tip I did show you. I used a spoolie to clean up my eyeliner when I had messed up. And just you could just roll it right away. So that's if you mess up uh, with eyeliner. So don't be discouraged because I'll be messing up too, okay? Um, I placed those rhinestones in that shape of a wing, baby, okay? And I didn't feel the wing in. Like, I'm going off a of pink gland, baby. She kills it, okay? Um, I just love this look so much. It's literally simple but not. It's everything, okay? I added these lashes from Beast by Devil Cosmetics. I cannot remember what kind of lashes they were. I think they were from the Medium Lash Book because I have a million lash books now. But, um, yeah, um, we're just going to do a really matte face. Um, I am using the Fenty. This is the Pro Filter, I believe, like, or no. Yeah, I think the Pro Filter, like, matte uh, primer. Added some powder, just translucent powder on my face before I added um, my concealer, contour, then foundation method. This was from Taylor Made Jane. I love this method ever since I've seen her do it. She does the concealer and the contour first, then adds the foundation on top, and it looks beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with a really bright concealer after I blend all these things together. So you guys just go ahead and relax and watch this. I'm going to stop talking for a minute. Go ahead and go ahead and watch. Everything will be listed down below as well.
I did that bright under eye I was talking about and this also was my first time in January using the Tia Samuda on Instagram her um powder in the shade butter oh my god I've fallen in love with it for these past few months you guys need to try it black owned business and she is just killing everything <laughs> that she's doing I'm loving all her products she's coming out with and then another um um creator you know to to support so i love it i love it i had to buy i bought all the shades they're really all perfect y'all like i've used them on clients and everything so make sure you support if you can i, I believe it was like eight bucks or something you know inexpensive very nice a, a good amount of powder as well so make sure y'all support her business um and then you see this nose snatch like i was doing all type of stuff in this video baby i need to ooh, make me want to do my makeup girl i'm sitting here face not on busted like girl no let me go let me go get up and do my makeup oh my god i forgot how much i love this look but yeah y'all um i just love everything about this and i hope y'all could take from me like even i'll be messing up sometimes and my footage got deleted but like I, that didn't even though it took me four months um <laughs> i still did get the video out for y'all because i know y'all wanted to see it so don't be discouraged guys let's keep pushing through i really want to come out with different content this year so i'm gonna keep trying um uh, oh right there i wanted to say i dipped my brush into uh both of those greens from my color for days palettes from beast bed Up cosmetics and um i got that perfect green and added that to my under eye as like another pop because i just wanted more green so it was perfect i added like a um I guess it was like a primer for your eyelashes and then the Huda Beauty uh, mascara. Oh my God, that combination is insane. Y'all need to get both of those products. Like, I kid you not. I love it. My lower lashes look bomb. And this is me doing my lip liner. I use like four different lipsticks. It was crazy. Um, I'm going to add all that below. But I did use eyeshadow on my lips as well because I wanted it to look a certain way before I added my gloss. And ooh, even the lips was fire, y'all. Just everything, okay? With the hair, good googly moogly. Good Lord, I love it. I love it. I love it. Of course, my highlighter, okay? Miami Beach, honey. We don't play with her. Y'all know y'all be selling me out of my highlighter every time, but I'm going to keep restocking it, okay? Okay guys, this is literally one of my favorite looks I've ever done, like in the history of time. Um, I am extremely proud of how my makeup turned out, how my hair turned out. Um, despite this being an old wig, like, you know, it really, like, I'm really digging this. I'm probably gonna, when I get done with, well, I might do it on another wig and just keep this green how it is, but I might take another one of my old wigs and literally just like, do this again but with another color like i'm really really excited at how it turned out um the makeup just is everything for me like it, it really is giving justice to the hair i'm really just oh my gosh i'm geeked at how this turned out for real y'all like wow i keep looking at myself you know how you get your makeup done or you do your hair and you're just like you know that's how i'm feeling like i haven't felt like this in a minute i've been down and out like i said so i'm so excited that this turned out this pretty um to answer your question no i have nowhere to go i'm doing nothing um so that's fun i'm actually so obsessed right now like y'all don't even know but i don't even want to put on no earrings like this is just everything the jewelry is really the wing for real you know what i mean Again, I was inspired by pink underscore pink dot glam on Instagram. She does client makeup and she kills her clients. So I was like, I seen this look in December and I was like, oh yeah, I need to do that. And just decided to do it just now. I think it went great with the hair, the touch of color. So I'm extremely excited about this. Like, wow. Thank you again so much for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to. And um, make sure to stay tuned for these low lights because baby is about to hit. Okay, like don't go nowhere. Wait for these low lights. You got to see this.